Hi everybody, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you how to create this light burst effect. So, right here it sweeps by, you could do this for the light on a lighthouse, you could do this for a character's flashlight, and the light can sweep anyway, this was just an example to show the broadness of the effect. And this effect really is pretty easy to create, it can be any color you want it, so, um, and you don't need any third party plugins unless you want to add a lens flare, but I did not in this example. So let's get started. So I'm going to build a new comp here, and then I'm going to start with a shape layer of just a square. So let's just add this square in. Color does not matter. Okay. So now that we have this shape layer, I'm going to add on light burst. light burst here we go okay add that on there and so now you can see sort of a little bit of a cool effect there we're gonna set the type to straight and now turn the intensity way up I guess like around there is good and then the ray length up even more so this one I'm gonna set probably around 500 And I'm gonna set this down to a quarter resolution because it takes a long time to load. Okay, so now we have a pretty cool effect that looks like some sort of square lens flare. And so we can see if we move this center position, these light rays will move. So we already have most of the effects done just right there. But the next thing I'm gonna do is add a glow. Okay. There we go. Oh, here we go. Add a glow there. Okay. And I think I'll we'll start with the settings the same, and then if later it doesn't look good, we can always tweak those. Then black and white, just to set it up for the effect we'll put on after that, which is a free download on videocopilot.net. VC color vibrance. This is to tint it a certain color, and it works better once it's already black and white. So that's the only reason I'm putting that on there. Okay, so I'm not going to add this on right now because it would take a really long time to load. But you can just turn the effects thing on there and it'll tint it the color. Just again, it's taking a really long time for this to load. And then one final thing I'm going to do to smooth out a little bit of this distortion type stuff we're getting on the side here once it loads again. Um, I'm going to add on a fast blur. Uh, my computer is being annoying today, sorry about that, but you can see what these are, effects are. It's the white burst, then the glow, then the black and white effect to prep it for the VC color vibrance. Okay, there we go. So you can see those little bands, so we can smooth that up as much as we need with the fast blur, because this fast blur, there's nothing that has to be sharp in this scene. There are no real details, so that's why we can put on as much of the fast blur as you need to fix up this effect. And so there, it looks pretty good, and with the color vibrance, if it loads, then you'll have that. So, thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.